The water heater used to sit in this corner of the kitchen right here. Uh, the homeowner Mary was concerned about a fire, so she hired an unlicensed plumber to change this out to an electric water heater. Six hours later, it started a fire that spread through the walls and up to the roof. And that was seven months ago. The fire department came and tore up my ceiling in the, in the kitchen and no electricity. Seven months, no, no washing machine, no dryer. No fridge. That's all we have had, spoiled meat and stuff, it smells. Mary is 78, and because she didn't have any homeowner's insurance, she was on her own. The community's uniting to help her out. Don Counselor is the inspection field supervisor for the Phoenix Planning and Development Department. He got area builders and contractors, framers and engineers to donate their materials and labor to volunteer to make Mary's house a home again. I think he's doing too much. I feel sorry for him because he's doing his job as well with the city and this is just extra and I go, oh my God. They got the electricity back on and are redoing her water heater the right way this time with a new AC and fridge, fixing the roof and the drywall. That's really good. I can't believe they're doing so much. They've still got a ways to go. Tim Gable's proud to be part of it. Oh, it's such a great feeling to be able to help people. You know, I also grew up in this neighborhood, so I'm also giving some back to my community. In a time like this, especially with the COVID-19 going on, it, it's just believing in your community, know what your community can do. Um, without the help of some of these awesome builders and contractors, it, I, I couldn't have done it without them. They can't stress it enough, and we hear it from Three and Your Sides, Gary Harper, all the time, just how important it is to make sure you have a licensed contractor so in case anything goes wrong like it did in Mary's case, you'll be covered. And they say, well, this is usually kind of a one-month deal because it's safety month. They're calling this the summer of Mary because it will likely take until July to get everything fixed as it should be. Um, it's going to be pretty life-changing for her, as you can imagine. Back to you guys.